Welcome everybody to I Do Notes episode number 83. Welcome everyone. This time we're going to talk about Lotus Live again. I'm going to discuss, last time we covered Skype integration. If you want to see that video, the link will be applied here also. This was going to talk about the integration quickly with Tungle and Lotus Live, basically how your calendaring works. We're back at the main dashboard screen of where you will start out. Something I wanted you to notice down the left-hand side quickly is there is a Tungle Me link that is on that side, but if you look at it, it actually takes you to the wiki instead of to Tungle itself. So don't be uh, disheartened by that. It teaches you how to use it from the wiki standpoint instead of from everything else. What we're going to go to is look at inside of applications itself, inside of TungleMe, you'll actually find it there. Now, for those that haven't been familiar with this, the only way to get these applications to be provisioned is if you want to go back and visit my other one is inside your settings for your company account. You have integrated applications. Inside the integrated applications is where you list what applications that you wish to run for your environment inside of Lotus Live. You'll notice in advance I'd already enabled Tungle for all current users. Once again, that is because there's a small delay, about a day right now, in terms of when the application shows live into your environment once you enable it. So let's go ahead and go from apps to Tungle Me. First thing I wanted you to see was it's going to take you to an external site and it does prompt your users, so be aware of that. You will say OK. From that point, it will take you out. Now, if you have an existing account, you'll be able to log in. If not, you'll have to create one. Now, here's the key is, do you want to give it always access or not? I'll say always and say allow. Now it's going to do authentication. It's going to say also, do you want to import all your contacts that you already have assigned into their scheduling system? Keep that in mind. It's actually going to import those in there. And it'll now make meeting times available across both. So, yes, I want to import. Continue. So there you have. So now you actually have brought across your profile into the account. It's going to show you your public profile. There'll be a link back to Lotus Live inside of it to take you back to there. You'll be able to see your account. You'll be able to manage all your meetings and contacts. And it'll actually show you when you're busy and when you're not by bringing your profiles together. So at this point, you're able to bring together all your different calendars and contacts and show all the different synchronizations that take place across the two and how they're brought together. Notice that for the Lotus Live, it isn't actually synced. It does bring across your contacts listed in there. You can actually edit. You can migrate and do whatever else you want to do. So this is how you bring those together. At any point, you can go back to Lotus Live. And once you're inside of Lotus Live, you can actually go into your contacts. And I'm going to pick on Ed one more time. So we'll pick on Mr. Brill himself. When I open up his contact and look at it, I can now propose a meeting directly, jumping out to his profile. So because he's linked them together, I'm actually see his profile and schedule a meeting based upon the times that I'm available. So you're able now to bring together some meeting times as well as integrate across the two. So there you have integration between Lotus Live and Tungle. Simply put, if you do not have an account, go out there now, tungle.com. Or actually what I suggest you go to to get your account is go to bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash I do tungle two. That's bit.ly slash I do tungle two. Go ahead and sign up for your account in advance and see how easy it is to bring together all of your calendaring and scheduling needs as well as integrating Lotus Live 